hello guys welcome to our youtube channel pd bros so in this video we will discuss about what's the topic it's the ureter so in this video we will talk about the ureter the introduction course relation and construction blood supply and nerve supply now for the introduction of the ureter it is a thick muscular tube from the kidney to the urinary bladder and for the dimension it has 10 inch long and 3 millimeter in diameter now for the course it begins within the renal sinus as a funnel shaped dilation called renal pelvis which is shown here and it courses downward and reaches the trigon which is present in the urinary bladder that's all for the course it's a brief description about the course now for the relation before that we will see about the construction of the ureter so the first construction is here that is the pelvic ureteric junction the construction is present at the LV ureteric junction and for the second construction this construction is present at the brim of the lesser pelvis which is shown here and the third one is here it is the construction formed by the crossing of ductus difference on the ureter and for the fourth one it is the entering of this ureter in the bladder wall and it was a construction and which is the fourth construction of the ureter now for the fifth construction it is present at the opening at the trigon which is present in the urinary bladder now we will discuss about the relation so we have divided the relation of the ureter on the basis of the position of the ureter now at the renal pelvis the renal vessels is the main relation of the ureter so in the the renal vessel lies both in front and behind it and that's all for the renal pelvis and outside the kidney after the renal pelvis which is here and after that it is outside the kidney here and in that position it's out in that position anterior and posterior relation so for the anterior relation it has been divided right and left for the right it will be right renal vessels and second one is the second part of the duodenum and for the left side it will be the renal vessel and pancreas and jejunum and for the posterior relation it is the swass major muscle and abdominal part of the ureter now the next will be the abdominal part of the ureter so the anterior relations include the third part of the duodenum which is in the right side so in the right side it will be the third part of the duodenum peritoneum colic vessel which is the right colic vessel so of course in the right side it will be the right colic vessel and the fourth one is the iliocolic vessel and the gonadal vessel root of mesentery and ileum which is the terminal part of the ileum and the mnemonic for this relation is the pig man in dc so we all familiar about the dc so the pig man it's just a superhero that i have created so here it is the pig p i g m i d c so what it all stands for the p stands for the peritoneum the i stands for the iliocolic vessel and the g stands for the gonadal vessel and the m stands for the mis root of mesentery m and i stands for the ileum the terminal part of the ileum and d stands for the duodenum which is the third part right c stands for the colic vessel so in the right side it will be the right colic vessel and you should remember the p g and c for the p g and c we can get the relation of the left part so in the left the p stands for the peritoneum g stands for the gonadal artery and c stands for the colic vessel so in the left side it will be the left colic vessel so peritoneum gonadal artery and colic vessel so we know know about the relation in the left side now one more thing that should be added here is the sigmoid colon and sigmoid mesocolon so this is the extra point we need to remember in the left side relations now for the posterior 
posteriorly it will be the source major muscles so i have already mentioned about the source major in the previous section that is the source major muscle in the posterior part and it also includes the tips of transverse process and genito femoral nerve and for the medial part on the right side it will be the inferior vena cava on the left side it will be the left gonadal vein now in the pelvic part of the ureter so in the pelvic part of the ureter posteriorly it has the internal iliac artery and the commencement of the anterior trunk of the internal iliac artery and internal iliac vein lumbosacral joint and sacroiliac joint so the mnemonic for to remember this relation here is the learn ias so the l stands for the lumbosacral joint i stands for the internal iliac vessel so internal iliac vein and internal iliac artery and a stands for the anterior trunk of the internal iliac artery and s stands for the sacroiliac joint and laterally it has the fascia covering the obturator internus and the superior vesical artery obturator nerve and vessel inferior vesical vein middle rectal artery sorry here we can see the fascia covering the obturator internus superior vesical artery obturator nerve and vessel inferior vesical vein middle rectal artery to remember this the mnemonic will be find mosi so the f stands for the fascia covering the obturator internus f m stands for the middle rectal artery o stands for the obturator nerve and vessels s stands for the superior vesical artery i stands for the inferior vesical vein that's all for the first part